looking into a mirror that doesn't just reflect light, but time itself. Not your face, but the very dawn of existence, the universe in its first breaths. That's what the James Webb Space Telescope was built to do. But what it found when it peered deeper than any instrument before it was not a cosmic cradle, not infancy. What it uncovered was a contradiction, an impossibility written across the fabric of space. Astronomers expected chaos, faint smears of hydrogen clouds, scattered particles, the dim beginnings of stars. Instead, Webb's golden mirrors revealed something breathtaking, fully formed galaxies, complete with spiraling arms and blazing cores, thriving only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies that shouldn't exist. It wasn't a fluke. More and more of them appeared, each structured, chemically rich, and gravitationally stable, as if the universe had hit fast forward, skipping billions of years of gradual evolution. The cosmic clock was broken, and then came the real shock. These galaxies weren't just filled with stars. They carried heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, forged only in the fiery deaths of massive stars. But that takes time, generations of birth and collapse. Yet here they were, galaxies younger than 400 million years, already ancient in composition. The early universe wasn't slowly awakening. It was racing, burning, exploding, alive in ways no theory had predicted. The revelations didn't stop there. At the heart of one of these galaxies lay the most astonishing discovery of all, a black hole weighing a billion suns. In today's universe, such giants take eons to form. Yet this one existed almost immediately after the beginning. According to our models, it was impossible, like finding a full-grown redwood tree sprouting overnight from bare soil. But Webb saw it, unmistakable, undeniable. The conclusion was unsettling. These black holes, these galaxies, didn't grow. They appeared. They arrived. Now, scientists are scrambling for answers. Maybe the laws we thought governed cosmic evolution are incomplete. Maybe dark matter or exotic physics played a role. Or maybe, just maybe, our understanding of the universe's beginning is far more fragile than we ever imagined. Because when Webb looked back in time, it didn't just capture light. It captured a secret, one that may rewrite the story of everything. Not modifications to existing models, these are brand new blueprints for reality. What do you do when every observation defies the instructions you've been given? For numerous cosmologists, the response is unsettling, you rewrite the rules. The James Webb Telescope hasn't just presented us with anomalies, it has made a universe that seems to be behaving in reverse, in which complexity takes precedence over simplicity, and in a location where ancient light carries blueprints that ought not to be there. Some scientists now propose that dark matter, long thought to be a passive gravitational force, might have played a more aggressive role in shaping the early universe, constructing structures that accelerated galaxy expansion. Others suggest that time itself may have flowed differently in those early moments stretched and twisted in ways we cannot comprehend but can detect enabling entire epochs of evolution to occur in our perception as fleeting flashes. And then there's the most terrifying concept of all, perhaps the early universe wasn't so different from the one we see today. Maybe the level of complexity is not the end of cosmic development. Perhaps it's the beginning. As the data kept flowing, researchers began to observe something even more bizarre, something that was unrelated to the quantity or brightness of these galaxies, but to the shapes they repeated. Using deep learning algorithms, researchers discovered that the distribution of these ancient galaxies followed a very particular repeating mathematical ratio strangely similar to the golden spiral. This went beyond aesthetics, a hidden structure, a concealed geometry that extended over billions of light years, linking star systems and galaxies in elegant alignment. The design of matter itself seemed to follow a fractal logic, as if the universe were encoded from the beginning with a pattern that echoed across all scales. It wasn't just coincidence. The spiral arms, the orbital symmetry, the rotational distances, the high-resolution images from Webb revealed that our beliefs were erroneous. Chaos in the early cosmos may, in fact, have been patterned, predictable, like fingerprints. But fingerprints of what? 
a fundamental law deeper than physics or something far more disturbing, evidence of deliberateness incorporated into spacetime itself. One of Webb's most controversial findings came not from a galaxy or a black hole, but from the hazy chemical trace left behind in a seemingly empty region of space and interstellar void so ancient it was assumed to be sterile. But the telescope's spectrometers detected something unfathomable, intricate organic molecules. Not merely methane or ammonia, but polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the building blocks of amino acids and, by extension, life. These chemicals didn't belong to planets. They weren't fluttering inside stars. They were drifting lost and yet somehow intact after 13 billion years. This raised alarms because the implications were beyond biological. It meant that the ingredients of life had existed nearly since the beginning not formed later in solar systems like ours, but seeded into the fabric of the cosmos almost immediately. And if that's true, then life isn't a fluke of planetary alignment. It's a feature, a constant, a thread that connects the universe from the beginning. The inconceivable, it appears, wasn't just galactic. It was microscopic. The image that followed through even the most skeptical minds into silence. Deep within a cluster of high redshift, Webb found a structure in galaxies that was overly perfect. Six galaxies positioned like petals, circling a central object, spaced at equal distances, rotating in near-synchronized orbits like some cosmic dance performed with purpose. Scientists called it the flower and despite their efforts to explain it away as a statistical anomaly or a coincidence of gravitation, no natural model could replicate its accuracy. It was an astronomical sculpture frozen in light from a time before Earth had formed. Some suggested gravitational lensing. Others suggested quantum symmetry left over from early universe turbulence. But a quiet few wondered aloud, could this be something else entirely? A marker? A signpost, a calling card left in plain sight meant only to be seen once humanity's eyes had evolved sufficiently to comprehend it. Last but not least, the most terrifying theory emerged from all of this that the very act of looking at these old galaxies might be having an effect on them in the past. Known as the observer effect in quantum physics, it explains how the result of an event can be altered simply by being measured. But what if this principle does not only apply to particles? What if the universe, on an incomprehensible scale, is capable of paying attention? That would mean that in constructing Webb and observing the early cosmos with this unprecedented clarity, we didn't just uncover secrets something was awakened by us. Once dismissed as philosophical nonsense, this theory is now being taken seriously by a fringe of web-savvy physicists who spot patterns and data that change based on how and when they are processed. A few pictures even seem to alter subtly over time as if the universe itself were responding to being observed. If true, it would mean we're not just explorers. We are part of it co-authors of our own desired reality. What the James Webb Space Telescope revealed was never just about stars, black holes, or drifting dust through time. It was about truth. A truth so immense, so long ago, and so intricately woven into the fabric of everything that to witness it is to feel the scaffolding of reality tremble beneath your feet. We did not merely observe the unthinkable. We unlocked it not by coercion, but by attention. By daring to ask questions no civilization before ours had technology or audacity enough to pose. Galaxies to mature, chemistry to complex, patterns to perfect, signals to aware. Webb's revelations are not simply that there is more mystery in the universe than we imagined, but that it may be aware of our creative abilities. Perhaps, for the first time in history, the cosmos whispered back not in words, but in light, in formation, in echoes that stretch beyond time itself. Maybe we failed to locate the universe's outer limits. Maybe we uncovered its memory and its recognition of us. Thus, the question is no longer what did Webb see. The real question is, what saw Webb if this left you shaken? If the patterns appeared to sharp, the timing to perfect, the revelations to synchronize to be random, then you're not alone. Subscribe because we're not just watching the stars, we're watching the response.
turn on notifications because the next signal may already be incoming. Share this with someone who still believes the universe is silent. And comment below. What do you think Web Observed or Awoke?